Okay, so I'm out away from the system now, and uh, we're stabilizing around five. I, I think the the a massive amount of reading that I got near the camera was the power cord going to the camera, um, <clears throat> but uh, now we seem to be relatively stable. I mean, if I go towards my desktop, I do start going up again. Um, so there's you know there's residual EMF, but but the key thing is is that again I'm I'm at about ten and a half volts now that I'm powering my five five fives, and as I come in here just to reestablish. Um, we've got some appreciable and balanced uh, electromagnetic field on both sensor one and sensor two. And um, so what's interesting, sort of uh, proof of concept, is it's not super rigorous because, you know, these antennas aren't super straight. Um, but we could see that sensor one is typically less than sensor two um, over over the, you know, I have to, I have to just eye it, let's see, what I'm trying to do is have them both equidistant from emitter node one, and there we go, there's one reading, yeah, so it's close, but on average, sensor one will be less than sensor two, which is what we expect because we have some re residual EMF um, from the uh, from node emitter two, and if we come over here and try very carefully to be equidistant, it should flip, which it does. It seems twelve, ten, fifteen, twelve. Oh, try and keep them even. Uh, twelve, twelve. Fifteen, twelve, twelve, ten, fifteen, twelve. So, again, that's what what we'd expect. Um, another important, very important thing is that as we reduce the voltage of the overall system. So now we're at um, now we're at ten point five. If we drop it to say about five, now I'm still in the, in the center with my two sensors, and we're definitely down in this fives and sevens, again, more or less balance, you know, they're sort of swapping five, seven, seven, five, um, and this is compared to the 10, 12 we had before, which I'll verify in just a moment, I uh, get a couple more readings, so yeah, Mostly seven seven, but definitely some fives in there. Um, so let's bump it back up to ten. There's ten point five again. So ten point five volts going into my five 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 oscillators, which are powering these emitter nodes, creating electromagnetic field that the sensors are sensing. And yes, now we're um, about tens and tens and twelves. which is what we want to see. So uh, that's the beginning of experiment 1.9 and I'll go on to um, uh, create capa another capacitive sensor so that I have two capacitive sensors so that and then re-engage the second 555 which I, I had been disconnecting um, for the time being so that so that the the capacitive each respective capacitive sensor will independently um, power with variable voltage depending on my relationship to each of those sensors. Um, each of these emitters which then could be sensed by any number of um, uh, sensors uh, independently, each independently. And, and on that point, I brought this up in the beginning of the video, uh, I have, like I said before, about about 30, ohm, 30 mega ohms a piece which is a fair bit of impedance, um, a fair bit of resistance and so what I could do in order to uh, f help with the problem of just the slow time again is I as I add as I add analog sensors on one um, 
on one Arduino on, on this one Teensy here. Um, as I said before, I'm going to have to add a bunch of delays to get the capacitors to charge and be able to sense uh, each, each of the respective analog pins somewhat accurately. Um, one of the solutions could be to reduce the resistance of these guys because um, v, v equals IR, you know, just as a rough rough estimate, if I reduce the R then the problem is is that I reduce the V, so in other words there'll be less voltage to be read. It'll be quicker, the upside is, is that it'll read more quickly because there'll be less impedance um, and the capacitor, capacitor internal to the pin won't need as much time to charge um, again because the impedance is lower um, but again um, the problem is is that um, the voltage will be lower so maybe I could compensate with with um, more voltage from from say the power supply from these 555's um, I've been working in the 10 range maybe I could find a balance where I could bump it up to sort of their ceiling in the 15 volt range um, and then lower uh, lower the um, sensitivity of of these these sensors thereby being able to sense um, sense more quickly and reduce that the, the necessity of that delay which is obviously <laughs> causing a delay <laughs> so uh, yeah I'll stop there and um, yeah we'll uh, move on to the next step